Right, what's going on guys? In this video today I'm going to show you how to set up my on-screen display with MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner Statistics. This will help you get more information on screen when gaming or benchmarking. Now to start off you will need to download two programs. First you need MSI Afterburner which has the Reva Tuner Statistics server included and you will also need Hardware Info. These will be linked in the description below. Right, once you have MSI Afterburner and Hardware Info installed you will want to click on the little cog wheel that you can see here in MSI Afterburner. This will bring up the settings menu. Now, once you're on the settings menu, you're gonna to wanna to move over to the on-screen display. Click on that, and where it says toggle on-screen display, set a hotkey of your choice. I choose page up, because I don't use it for anything. Now you will wanna move on and select the benchmarks tab, which is next to the on-screen display tab. You will see two boxes labeled Begin and end recording. Set hotkeys for each of them, as I'm doing now. You can use whatever you want, the same as before, whatever you feel most comfortable with using. And then click apply. Now that's done, we can move on to adding some sensors to the on-screen display. In the settings menu, you will need to move to the monitoring tab, as you can see I've done here. You will see a list of values that can be displayed on the screen. You will need to left click on the value you want to display and go down to where it says show in OSD, as you can see here. I'll, I'll apply that and then I'll hit the, the benchmark key once we get off this and as you can see at the top there we got the GPU temperature added so right now we'll go back into it and we'll add some more for my on-screen display I have GPU usage GPU temps VRAM usage GPU clock speed VRAM clock speed for CPU monitoring I use CPU usage, CPU voltage which is part of a hardware info sensor I'll show you how to add later, CPU clock, CPU temp and CPU power which is also another hardware info sensor. So we will add all of them now. Uh, memory usage, core clock, memory clock, head down to CPU. CPU temperature, CPU usage, you can add all of them and get all of the core usages and thread usages, the clock speed for each individual core, or just the CPU clock, RAM usage, you want your frame rate, frame time, frame average, 1% lows, so you want to add all of them into the on-screen display, just like that. So like that and you can move these up and down depending on where you want to see them we'll apply that get that out of the way so you can see it now as you can see that doesn't really look like my OSD but we can change that now to make it look like it so that the way we change that is we come here and we have like all of these things in GPU at the top here that's because they all have the same graph name now if we click on override group name and change that to GPU usage, hit apply, we have GPU usage separated there. Now we want core clock, we want to override group name, I put it as GPU clock, GPU CLK. And you just continue to do that for all of the on-screen displays that you have set to change them to a name that you want. You don't have to name them the same as me, but you can just go down, scroll through the list that you've set up and name them appropriately so they all separate, or you can keep them all together. It's entirely up to you. Now here you also have the option of changing the on-screen display size. You can go big, you can go massive, you can go really small it's up to you and then you can also change its position using this you can also type it here like that and so on and that's it that's the end of the video if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments if it helps you leave a like I will add a link so you can download my OSD so if you don't want to do this you don't have to you can just use mine but the videos there if you want to create your own